So I've been debating whether or not to make a follow-up video on the 2021 Genesis GV80 behind me. This is the uh, a luxury SUV from the Hyundai company. And the reason why I've been debating this is because this is the same vehicle that Tiger Woods rolled in earlier this week in California and suffered some major leg injuries. His uh, professional career is in jeopardy. And people have been flat out insensitive and passing judgment really quickly uh, based on the wording of some headlines out there. And the fact that I put, uh, this is the car that uh, saved Tiger Woods' life. And people says, you should say, this is the car that nearly killed Tiger Woods. And then the judgment and the assumptions that, hey, Tiger was speeding, Tiger was, wasn't paying attention, he was going 80 miles per hour. What happened to all the safety systems that should have saved him? You have no idea what really happened. You too are just reading headlines, maybe a paragraph, and then coming to a judgment that this car behind me uh, nearly killed an individual who was driving on a windy road and somehow hit a speed bump, hit a sign, crossed the center line, and there were no skid marks. These are some of the initial reports that people are assuming or reading and passing on without checking your sources. Um, one of the first things I ever saw after the initial accident on Tuesday morning was he was going around a corner and there was sun glare because this happened like at 7 o'clock in the morning or so and couldn't see the corner. And I also, there were some people writing in comments that they've driven on this road before and it can get pretty fast if you don't know how to, to brake properly around some of these corners and you can pick up speed. Well, I have no idea, nor do you, of uh, what was going on in the vehicle, if there were any distractions, if there was something else going on, but the assumptions and the ignorance of not knowing the full story and then passing judgment and saying, oh, just because this is a member of the Hyundai family, the luxury arm of Hyundai, which is also a part of Kia, that the reputation and safety's uh, standards are subpar. You can't make these judgments just by the appearance and what you know in the past to be a certain reputation. I drive and review these vehicles for a living. I've been driving and reviewing Kias and Hyundais since back to 2012 for sure. And this is the first SUV in America that I'm aware of from my research already that um, Genesis has created. I've also driven the sedan versions and they are super safe. I did a, video, a very detailed video just a day or two ago about all the safety features that are included in this. And even the Los Angeles County Sheriff credits the fact that this has 10 airbags and the fact that Tiger Woods, 45-year-old professional golfer, uh, was wearing his seatbelt at the time of the accident. And if you look at the pictures of the vehicle as it rolled over multiple times going down a small ravine off the road, uh, most of the vehicle is intact. All of the, uh, the, the, the front the cabin is intact. Of course, the, the front is all crumpled up. But even the dual sunroofs aren't uh, too mangled. So this has uh, obviously some safety features that keep you when you're you know, driving down a highway, lane keeping assist, uh, lane departure warning. There's some other alerts that go on, which I detail in my review. So I won't go into that, the safety aspect of, the, of this vehicle. But just because a person goes off the road and you think, hey, it's because it's a Hyundai vehicle or a Genesis in this case, that's, that's just not right. That's unfair to make that judgment just because you have an opinion, an opinion that's not backed up by facts or you don't believe in facts. You think your opinions are stronger than facts. And then you're saying that this car, this car nearly killed him. This car nearly ruined his golfing career. You know he's a 45-year-old golfer, right? who's just barely making a comeback. I admire the heck out of the guy as a professional athlete and what a run he had um, in his heyday. And yeah, he came back and, and won the Masters. Great. It has nothing to do with him as a person, but you guys make it sound, some of you make it sound like this is personal and this vehicle is crap. Or Tiger Woods, his uh, whole life is you know now ruined because of this vehicle and making the really rude jokes as well as far as uh, what injuries he has sustained and other stupid things that I'm reading on comments. It's hard not to um, because this is right in the news and, and I had the vehicle in my possession 
and I really like the, the car. If you, don't, if you don't drive one, if you don't ever get behind the wheel and you just want to make a statement, then you really have no, no stake in the game. You can't play that game until you drive or review these cars yourself. My job is to give you the, the best uh, assessment I can after a full week of driving it and give you features and highlights, pros and cons, and so on, whether it's on my YouTube channel, whether it's on my website, on my other social media platforms. But I don't know. It's more of a, a frustration video based on all the negative comments and the assumptions that I'm reading about who's at fault. The car did this. Cars don't kill people. People are driving vehicles. Things happen. Things that you don't know happen. Whether there was sun glare, whether there was a distracting driver, where there was something else going in the car. Obviously, it was a single uh, one person in the car, single car accident, so no other cars were involved. I have no idea about the, the road conditions at the time, especially in the morning on the day. Just think about that. Maybe you don't want to think about that. Maybe you're just a troll and you want to leave some more negative comments. This is the vehicle that saved his life. I'm sure other, other vehicles, yes, have airbags. They have safety devices. He happened to be driving this 2021 uh, all new, first of its first of a kind Genesis GV80 SUV, and Tiger Woods is alive today because of the safety that the vehicle has. And a lot of vehicles have these have these safety features. He happened to be driving this one, so don't blame the vehicle. Don't even blame the driver. Learn, sit back, have some patience before passing judgment. Let this thing play out a little bit longer. The man's alive. We should be thankful for that. That's all I got.